Good morning. It's the last day of May here um, in real life. Um, I hope everything is going great with you guys. I hope you had a great weekend. I am starting this game over because here's the thing. When you go to save slots, it only shows you the last time you played. You can't name them. I'm hoping they'll change that. You know, if you look down at the bottom left of the screen, it says early access. This game has now been out, I think, for over a year. The reason I think they've left it in early access is they're adding to it and fixing bugs and stuff constantly, or at least once a month from what I've seen. Uh, could be more, not sure. However, you think at this point they would just call it a live game. There's so many games, look at Animal Crossing for example, that just made updates. So I don't know if it's because of the frequency they make updates or what. Maybe it, they're making them so often they don't feel like they can call it a live game yet. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so because of that, I somehow deleted my first game that I shared here a couple days ago, I think. So we're just going to start over. Um, I am playing another uh, save slot, obviously, and the reason I've done that is I'm learning more about the mechanics and how to unlock things. I've learned so much just in the last couple days. So, um, so we're going to start a new game. And just to refresh you, there are so many hair options. Like, it doesn't, uh, you can't really differentiate between, differentiate, excuse me, between female and male per se, unless you pick a certain hairstyle, I think. I mean, obviously that looks more like a boy where that looks more like a girl. I mean, that's kind of how they did it. Um, there's quite a few different hairstyles that I really like. Um, it's really hard to decide. Um, it, they, look, they all look really cute. I kind of like that because I kind of like the curls. So I think I'm going to go with that. Um, you Obviously, you can have different skin colors. Um, that looks so yellow. Can we go? That looks really yellow, didn't it? Um, so we're going to go with green. I have hazel green eyes. I think those are a pretty green right there. I'm just going to leave that. Hair color is blonde. My hair is blonde, so I prefer that. And you can do different highlights. So, I mean, I really have not played with these a whole lot. But you can kind of make it look more pinkish, more purplish, depending on what you do. Um... Like it, if you look at that, that looks like a dark pink to me. That looks more of a purple. So we're going to go with that because purple is my favorite color. In case you guys haven't noticed by the banners, I a lot of times that I put out, the thumbnails will be purplish. My background is mostly purple. So yeah, I think that's really cute. Um, I like the freckles, the cheeks, not so much because all it does is put little white dots on there, which kind of depicts cheeks, I guess, but I kind of prefer it without them. So we're just going to start over. I apologize for that. Um, I will try to be more careful in the future, but come on, let's go to Hoko, Hoko Life. Um, <clears throat> We're arriving on the train. So, so far from what I understand, this is uh, available on Steam. Early access. Was not expensive. I forget how much. It might, I think it was 25 or less. Um, I've not seen it on other uh, platforms. 
I don't know if they have plans to put that put it on different platforms. I've not seen anything that they're that remotely thinking about it. So doesn't mean I might have missed it. So here we are. And I gotta tell you, um, the detail on the like the buildings are so cute, and the attention to detail on just about everything I, I absolutely love. So let's just um isn't she cute? She's just adorable. But, I mean, look at the stone tiles that we're walking on. And look at the lights. Um, isn't that gorgeous? And just the scenery behind it. So, um, yeah. And I've noticed from when they first released Early Access, which I believe was almost a year ago. Or at least it was a year ago. Um, they have changed the game so much. So like when I'm trying to figure out things and I look on YouTube and I look at old playthroughs, yeah, I really almost can't go by. You can on some things, but not that much because the game has changed so much since then. It doesn't look that it, like the different uh, rewards are different. How to unlock stuff is different. So you just can't really go by that. So that's the shop, and obviously it's locked. There's a tree here, so we can't get by. Now, in the early versions that I've seen, um, there's like the shopkeeper, it's talked about about him removing the tree. You want to go out and help? This doesn't even do that. <laughs> you, you'll see. So let's go in the inn. Oma, welcome, welcome. Moss, well, looks like it's still raining out there. I take a seat, relax a bit. Okay. Why don't you have a seat? Well, I was trying to. There we go. Perhaps a hot drink to warm you up? Oh my gosh, coffee, please. Just a moment. Well, well, it's not every day we see a new face in town. I hope your journey wasn't too wet. We really haven't have had some terrible weather lately. I, you're not wrong there. I don't suppose you brought some sunshine with you on your trip here. Ha <laughs> ha. Here you go, my dear. I'm Oma, by the way, and this is Moss. It's lovely to see a new face in town. What's your name, dearie? Okay, so, of course, by putting my name in here, you would think in the save slot, slot it would say the name or something but it doesn't it just says saved in the date the last time played so that's why it's really hard to tell which one if you're playing more than one playthrough it's really hard to tell which one is which oh Riley what a lovely name thank you Oma pleased to meet you Riley I don't suppose you've sorted out somewhere to stay tonight not really Oh, don't be silly. They can stay here. I've got an old room upstairs. Might be a bit dusty, but, well, a little dust never hurt anyone, eh? I'm sure the spiders would enjoy the company. Ha <laughs> ha. Shush you. It's not that bad. Ignore moss now. Ha <laughs> ha. It's lovely, I'm sure. Now then, how come you ended up here, eh? I wanted to change. Oh, how lovely. Well, a change of scenery is good once in a while, I say. Aye, that's true. It's very much a slower pace of life here. Suits me just fine. And sometimes it seems like it's too slow. Like, by that I mean, if you play Animal Crossing, the time doesn't go by too fast, but it's somehow fast enough. Um, and sometimes it's not, depending on what you want to do. Stardew Valley, the time is a little bit too fast, I think. I mean, that's how I feel. Just because it's hard to get everything done in a day sometimes because the time goes by so fast. This one is really slow. Like, I mean, dreadfully slow. Like, I wish they would speed up the clock a little bit. Um, so, that's my opinion. Um, leave me a comment if you played this. Um, let me know what you think. If you feel the same way. If you feel different. Moss here runs a store across the street. It's not much, but I like to think it's got everything one could need. Oh, that reminds me, Moss. I need to sort out some new roof tiles. A few blew off last night in the storm. 
Ah, oh, I'm sure I've got something lying around that'll do the job. Wonderful. Oh my, listen to us chattering on about this and that. It can't be very interesting for you at all, my dear. Ha ha ha. I'm sure they're just happy to get out of the rain, aren't you, youngin? Oh yes. Ha ha. Well now, I think I need to be heading off. Aye, it's getting late. I'll be shutting up soon too, I reckon. You can head on up when you're ready, Riley. Your room is just upstairs to the door back there. Thank you. I'm sure I'll speak to you again tomorrow, Riley. But until then, sleep well. Here's what I think is funny about Uma. Is she says I a lot. And then she says youngin. Um, it is kind of like going from Irish or Scottish to country. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's cute though. Get some sleep by interacting with beds. Beds allow you to take a nap for a few hours or sleep until the following day. It's getting late, so this time you'll automatically sleep until tomorrow. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. I wish I didn't have to start over, but you know it is what it is. We'll try to go a little bit farther today than we did at the beginning. How'd you sleep? Great. Lovely. It looks like you brought the nice weather with you, my dear. It's a lovely sunny day out there. Moss even managed to clear the fallen tree too. So now you can go and explore the rest of the village if you like. So see, in the earlier versions from what I've seen on YouTube of other people playing it like over a year ago or whatever, Oma asks you if you'll go out and help him clear the tree. In this one, it's just, it's gone. I'm sure you're dying to meet the other villagers and I'll bet they'll be happy to see a new face. By the way, you're welcome to stay here as long as you need. You can probably tell, but I don't get many guests, so I won't be needing the room back just yet. Thank you. You're very welcome, my dear. Anyway, just head along the path north if you'd like to see the rest of town. So, something else I've noticed, because I've restarted a game a couple, a few times. You know, in Animal Crossing, if you don't get the layout, if you don't in, end up liking the layout at the very beginning, you end up... Um, restarting your game at least I have millions of times um, this is kind of the same way because there are different layouts and um, there's a couple that are pretty cute and then there's others that like the houses were too close to each other they were almost smushed um, and I didn't really prefer them so I'm kind of anxious to see what this one looks like um, this is Nico Oh, hey, are you not seeing a red scarf around here, have you? Nope. Bomber. Hmm. I'm Nico, by the way. Cool to see a new face in town. If you find my scarf, let me know, eh? Okay, will do. Sweet. Thanks. That's the same in every startup of the game. You have to go find the person's scarf. Um, it's a different villager probably every time, but you can always easily find the scarf. Well, maybe if I can get to it, it's always usually off of a dilapidated house. So I just picked it up and put it in my backpack and now I'm going to go back and talk to Nico, who's not moving. Hey, what's up? Found it. Sweet. Oh man, thank you so much. You're welcome. Welcome to town, yeah? Hope you stick around. You seem pretty chill. I am pretty chill. So we're just going to walk around. Um, usually you can tell if a villager is home because if you can see up at the top, there's smoke coming out of the smokestack. At night when it's dark, um, the lights will be on in the house. It's hard to tell during the day. And if they're not home, the lights will not be on. Okay, I just lied because I guess those are on all the time. So I guess you just have to go look. So we'll just go look in this one. I did not lie about the lights being on at night though. Oh my gosh, I haven't had this one. Oh, Lander, so you're the new villager, huh? Riley or something? Well, welcome to town. Look, if you ever need anything, go bother one of the other residents. Oh my gosh, I'm not your tour guide. I love this one already. Like, oh my gosh, that was so funny. I totally love this okay I, I'm kind of glad we changed now because I really like um, I really like him so
So, oh, it could be a him or a her. I'm not really sure how you tell with the name Olander. Um, I think that might be a guy's name, but eh, who knows. So this is Sally's workshop, um, and it's locked at the beginning until you progress a little bit farther. I think there's only a couple villagers at first, um, but you can see behind me there's more land. Um, you'll unlock to big bridges and um, stairs to get up to the second level as the story progresses. And then this is the beach over here. <clears throat> And it's got a couple of plots of land, too, that you can um, end up. Yeah, the shells just automatically go in your backpack. You'd, I didn't even have to pick it up. There's this plot of land over here, which would probably fit more than one house, depending on how you place them. <clears throat> and then there's this plot of land, and that's pretty much it. Um, but that's, that's the beach and the ocean. As you can see, there's a fish right there. There's a butterfly. We'll be getting a net and um, fishing pole here a little bit later. So as the story progresses, obviously, like a lot of games, you um, unlock different things as you progress. Um, I've not figured out all of them yet, but um, I've gotten. I just started Summer One in my other playthrough that I just kind of do on my off time. So, um, yeah. So let's go in the shop. Oh, it's locked. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're going to go back here. Oh, I guess we have to go. Now, one thing I will show you. Well, I'll show you after Oma talks. Well, hello there, Derry. How was everyone? Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Yep. Now, I've been chatting with Moss a little bit, and we were thinking, if you like it here and maybe want to stay a bit longer, how about we fix you up somewhere proper to live? Oh, yes, please. Wonderful. Now then, you may have seen them, but there are two houses in the village that haven't been lived in for a little while. And, well, could do with a little bit of fixing up. We don't think it'll take much, so if you're interested, we could see about getting some resources together and turn one of them into a lovely new home for you. How does that sound? Great. Oh, how splendid. I spotted a bunch of branches and debris around them the last time I was up there, so maybe it's best if we start by clearing all that mess away first. Can you go speak to Moss and see if he has any ideas? Can do. There's a good kid. Oh, this is so exciting. It is. Okay, so I'm gonna show you um, a little bit of the controls. Um, I am using a controller. Of course, you can play just on the PC keyboard controls. So if I go into my backpack and I go to the right, there's a little clipboard with a check mark. So um, it's going to tell you what you need to do next, uh, depending on the task. So obviously, speak to Moss and see if he can help. And it, it, there is a little bit of a tutorial at the beginning. It does not last too long where these pop-ups come up when you go into things. When you get a request from a villager, it will show up in the task list. You can also see how much time you have left to fulfill a request here too. Um, isn't fulfill F-U-L-F-I-L-L? -L? I don't know. It could be like one of those words where I see it and I'm like, is that spelled right or not? I don't know. Okay, so um, we will just go ahead and go see Moss now because now we can. All righty, spoken to Oma, I take it? Yep. Yes, yes. It shouldn't take much to fix up one of those houses, I'm sure. Debris? Mm, you're quite right. That mess needs to be taken care of. Tell you what, I know just the thing. I've got an old axe you could use to clear away those logs and branches. Here you go. Head on over to one of the houses and get clearing. See about starting the re then we can see about starting the renovation. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that sign. A stool, a coffee mug. There's a spare axe I guess you could buy if you need to. Okay. So we're gonna go clear some of the debris. Ooh. 
So equipping items. To equip the axe you've just been given, first open your backpack by pressing Y. And here are the contacts of your backpack. Select the axe to equip it. You can also show and hide the equipment panels by pressing... Okay, this is for the controller, so um, FYI. So we're just going to clear up all this mess. Basically, you're getting, you're just getting rid of the, um, the logs here that are laying on the ground. I mean, that's pretty much what they mean by debris. The one thing about it is that it really doesn't show you what you're aiming for, and there's no way to turn on, like, a guide or anything like Stardew Valley. Um, so you just kind of have to, it's kind of a hit and miss sometimes. But, you know, you get used to it after a while, just like you do with any gameplay. Um, so, let's see if we can get all this cleared up. Oh, I can't even get over to that log. Hello. There we go. Fishy. Okay, let's see what else we can get rid of here. Nice thing is this gives you a lot of logs at the beginning. So here's what I don't like about the layout right away is there's two houses just like smushed on top of each other and they're both happen to be the dilapidated houses. So there's not really any way to move houses that I have found. In fact, in everything I've read and seen, there's no way to do that. Pick up, okay. I just want to be able to see the house a little bit better. If you leave the stumps, the trees will grow back where the stumps are. You have to have a shovel to get rid of it completely, so depending on what house. I'll probably take the one up here at front just because you can see it better. Because the other one's behind it. Now it's not to, ta to say that you can't see it per se because if you go back here you can see through stuff uh, it makes like the trees and the other houses transparent which is fine but I'd rather have it up front where I don't have to do that just for mine now like I said you can't move houses or anything like that but what you can do I have learned is if you build a house somewhere else that you prefer you can evict yourself from your own house and put yourself in another house um, and what also what that does is that um, a house that you've built which we'll get into later on down the line but what that also does is open up um, once you leave your own house it kind of opens up a house for somebody else so it kind of serves it as two purposes there to me um, because you're constantly having to build houses for villagers for them to move into, which is fine, but it takes money, it takes resources. Um, it's just a really fast way to be able to get somebody moved in. So, and since you're leaving your house anyway, I mean, why not, you know? Okay, so let's, um, now if we go to our checklist, it says return to Oma. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> and at some point you unlock sprinting, which doesn't take too long in the playthrough. And then you can actually run a little bit faster, but only for a short amount of time. Hello there, Riley. How did you get on with those pesky logs? All gone. Oh, how wonderful. Well then, now we can get started with the renovation. Or, well, we could if we had the resources needed. Hmm, you know, I've got an old donation box you can have. That way, we'll have somewhere to gather all the resources needed to rebuild the house. If you interact with the house you'd like to renovate, we can pop the donation box outside and start collecting donations for the house. Sounds good. Here you go. Just interact with the house you'd like to renovate and we can get started. Okay. So let's go do that. 
I miss sprinting already because um, I was so used to it. So I can't wait till we can get that unlocked. Okay, so this is what you do is you just stand in front of it. Um, interacting with the donation box will let you add resources to it. On the left, you see the items in your backpack. On the right are the items that contains, uh, is what the items in the box contains. You can see the renovation requirements here too. So if you look over at um, the right, the required items is 40 wooden log. So if you select an item, let you transfer it between your backpack and the box. Well, we have 69. So we're gonna transfer 40. I don't know what happens if you try to transfer all 69, if it only transfers 40. I've been a little too scared to try. Maybe we'll try on the next house and see. Okay. <clears throat> Uma, well, well, look at that. You did it. It doesn't even look like the same house. What a transformation. Hmm, not too shabby at all. You must be very excited, Riley. You know, I think this calls for a bit of a celebration. Quite right. You've certainly earned it, Riley. Dinner is on me. Oh, well now. See you there. Isn't this just the cutest um, game? Like, I just, I just really been enjoying it. Like I said, it's hard to figure out what to unlock, what unlocks what. It's a matter of just kind of figuring stuff out as you go. But um, we'll, we'll, I'll see if I can help as we start this, play, go through this playthrough. Well, that's to really hit the spot. Might be your best yet, Oma. How kind of you, Moss. Food always tastes better after a hard day's work, I say. Riley definitely worked hard today, and they've got a lovely new home to go back to as a result. Now, if you look over to your loft, you'll see in kind of blurred out a little bit, a pig in a suit. More to come on that. Good job, Riley. Quite right. Good work today. It's made a big change to how the town looks, too. Sometimes all it takes is a little energy from a new face to make a difference. Speaking of which, you must be tired from all that work. No doubt you want to get back and enjoy the first night in your new home. Oh, by the way, I dropped off a sleeping bag on my way here, too. Should make your night a little cozier, I hope. Thank you. You're very welcome, young'un. Hmm, it's starting to get late. We should let you get some rest, Riley. Thanks again for your hard work today. Good night. I mean, are they not cute or what? So it looks like it's already moved us to the next day because it's spring. If you look on the left um, corner down below, Thursday, spring four at 820. Now, if you watch, I could sit here forever and I'm not going to do that. But it takes like for 10 minutes to pass. I swear it takes like 10 minutes. Like it, it's, I don't think it's 100% real time, but it's pretty close. Oh, good morning, Riley. I hope you slept well. Yep. Excellent. After our little celebration last night, I started thinking. Renovating the house made a big difference to the town. I thought there must be other things we can do to brighten it up around here. What do you say? Sounds great. You think so? Great stuff. Well, er, truth be told, I hadn't thought much after that. Ha <laughs> ha. Um... Perhaps the other villagers have some idea for things that they'd like to see in town. If you've got some time today, could you speak with them and find out for me? Will do. Great. Thank you, Riley. Come by my shop when you're done. See you. Oh my gosh, so this is our new house. Um, let's go see what Nico suggests. Hey, Riley. Man, so awesome. What did What you did with that house. It's totally changed the vibe of the town. What's up? Requests? Oh man, our, I have no idea about these things. Something like flower planner or two maybe? That'd be pretty sweet. Noted. Sweet. So if we go up to our task list, um, we're speaking to the residents to find out what they like to see in town, okay? So um, I think I just saw Olander. Did I see Olander? Somewhere? I thought I did. No, that's Nico. <clears throat> I guess I'm just going to have to go in and see. Um, this is not... 
if you hover by the front door, later they'll put signs, but if you hover by the front door, it says this is home of Olander. So, and I, am I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Olander, Oleander. So it might be Oleander, the way it looks, the way the spelling looks. I'm not sure. So um, I don't know where they went. So, I mean, I could have sworn I saw them earlier, but maybe not. So maybe they went into town. So let's just go look there. Look at the view. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. It's just so quaint. Look at the little town. Yeah, I'm not seeing Olander anyway. I must be blind. Um, could they have gone in the inn? No. Okay. And on my other playthrough, um, and like I said, I just started summer, the first of summer. I have not seen anybody, you know, like in Animal Crossing, how they walk around and they walk in the shops and stuff. Oh, there he is. He's hiding. Um, so in this one, they walk around outside. They'll walk around outside on the town. You'll find him in the inn sometimes, but I've never seen one in the shop. Oh, Riley, I was just in the middle of something, but sure. What do you want? Request? Hmm. You know... We always used to have at least one fence around here, but Lily, I've not seen any. Terrible turn of events, I'd say. They are grumpy. Oh my gosh, but I'm kind of loving it. Noted. Mm-hmm. Glad somebody's taking the time to shape up things around here. Things have been slipping quite a bit recently, I dare say. Okay, so um, now our task list is to return to Moss with our findings. So that's what we're going to do. I love Oleander like so much right now. I am so glad that I'm I, I'm not 100% glad we had to restart over, but I kind of am because I like the layout and I I love the villagers. Oh, Riley, how did you get on? All good. Great stuff. Hmm. So they've asked for a flower planter and a fence in town, eh? That doesn't sound like it'd be too much trouble. I don't have anything like that here. Maybe Sally can help out. Sally? Oh, that's right. I don't think you've met her yet. Sally is usually busy working her away in her workshop on this and that. Why don't you swing by and see if she can help us out? Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Riley. So once you start getting some money, I mean, it does take a while to start acquiring some money. Oh, look at the tape tag. Look at the tile for your house and the wood. <gasps> An open book. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we don't have any money at the beginning, obviously. Um, and I found um, I found that once you unlock fishing, um, the fish bring in quite a bit of money. So that's something to to think about. It's kind of like Animal Crossing, <laughs> in a sense, because it seemed like the fence were like a good item to cash in to get some bells, right? It's kind of the same way here. Oh, hey, you must be. Wait, don't tell me. Riley? Right? Right. Great. Hey, I'm Sally. So nice to meet you. Welcome to my little wooden home. Or, well, my workshop, I guess. Haha. <laughs> How are you? Anything I can help you with? Requests? Oh, how fun. You're after a flower planter and a fence, are you? Hmm. Shouldn't be hard to put them together, I reckon. I'm gonna need some resources though. Let's see, for the flower planters I'll need six wooden logs, which we have, two yellow petals, which we can get. And then let's see, for the fence I'll need four wooden log, that should do it. I think you can find all those outside somewhere. Come back when you've gathered everything and we can get to the fun part. Making stuff, okay. You can view what resources are needed to craft an item in your backpack. Let's open it now. You now have access to the crafting tab. Switch it. Switch to it now and we'll take a look. So, there we go. Great. Here you can see crafting recipes by selecting one. You can view the information about that item. So, it tells you what you need. You need six wooden logs and two petals for each flower planter. And for the fence, you need four wooden logs. So, 
as you can see it also tells you like we have 29 logs in our backpack so this tells you we have 29 wind logs but we don't have any flower paddles so okay so let's just go get four um flower petals and to do that you just walk up to it and this is a yellow cup flower plant so you just pick 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 and pick so if I go to my checklist return to Sally with the resources that tells me I've got everything that I need <coughs> Riley, how are you getting on? Got them all. Super nice. Okay, let's get to making. Oh, you know what? What? Why don't you have a go at crafting them? You look like someone who knows their way around a lathe. I'm not sure what a lathe does. I mean to look that up. What do you say? Sure. That's the spirit. See that work area just in front of the stove? That's where you can craft things. You can turn resources into other resources. Not only that, but you can craft items as well. Pretty amazing, huh? Yep. Woo, okay. Give it a go. Now, so because I want to be reminded, I need to craft a flower planter in a fence. In one of the rock uh, walkthroughs, they wanted more than one fence, so I was just checking to see how many I needed. <coughs> Excuse me. Here are all the crafting recipes you have available to craft one first. Select it. Excuse me, I have to take a drink. So, what's nice about this and something that we have honestly been missing from Analog Crossing is you can craft more than one at a time. Oh my god. You can select how many you like to craft on this pop-up when you're ready. I'm going to go ahead and do two just because I have the resources for it. And that's how fast it crafts. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's just make a couple of fences. I mean, I wonder if we could do, let's do four fences. Because you're going to want to put more stuff in the town later anyway, because I'd unlock stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now while I can. So we're going to craft four fences like that. Like that is so quick. Wow, look at you go. That's a pretty fine looking flower planter. This can't be your first attempt at a fence either, surely. It looks so good. I'm sure Moss will be delighted. Oh, tell him I said hi too, yeah? Will do. Thank you. Okay, so um, again, we're, we're gonna go back to Moss, but again, you can go into your um, checklist, take the flower planter and fence to Moss. So that's what we're gonna do. And you can tell this is your home because you get a mailbox because you see the other ones don't have mailboxes. So that's how you can kind of tell. Now, later on, you're supposed to be able to um, change the design of the outside and the roof, but I have not even gotten to that in the other playthrough I'm doing. So that must take a while. Oh, Riley, how did you get on? Made them. Oh, wow. That really is something. Sally doesn't usually let others touch her tools. She must have taken a liking to you, youngin. Ha <laughs> ha. Well then, let's get those lovely creations placed out somewhere in town. I trust you can find a good spot for them. Leave it to me. Great stuff. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Again, this is all part of the tutorial at the beginning. Um... You know, once we get past this point, then you don't really have a tutorial anymore. You just got to figure it out by talking to people and unlo unlocking stuff. So to place an item out in the world for us to open your backpack, select one of the items you just crafted and begin to placement. While you're placing, you can rotate an item by pressing or holding the X or it will tell you differently if you're, play if you're playing on PC. So I'm just going to put this like over here. When you have an item where you like it, place it down by pressing A. Okay. Um, and you can pick it back up. I'm using a controller, so it's the X bo uh, button, but it will tell you what button. So let's go ahead and place our fences. 
Now I will tell you it's not as constrictive as um, like Animal Crossing, but it's a little constrictive. So um, up at the top you left, you see Rotate Object, with, which is for a controller X. And it will tell you red if you can't place it there, which I'd like to place it right next to it and it won't let me. Or if I went over a little bit, it's got a white around it, a little white square. So that means that's okay. So we're just going to go ahead and place the other two. Um, I kind of hate that it won't let me place it exactly where I have the other one. So we'll just do it there. Like I said, placement is much better than Animal Crossing, but there are some limitations that I just kind of don't like. But um, it is what it is. Um, no way to change that. So let's go talk to Moss because he said to come see him when we were done. And there he is. Hey Riley, how did you get on? Placed. Splendid. I am certain they've helped liven up the town more than a little bit. I was thinking with the improvements we're doing to the town, we're going to run out of space. And I'm sure you'll start running out of resources too if you continue crafting things. You might have seen, but there's quite a bit of space on the other side of the river. It's not that wide and I'm pretty sure if you ask Sally nicely, she could might help us sort out some kind of a bridge. What do you say? Let's do it. Haha. -ha. Oh, by the way, Oma wants to speak to you about something. Go and have a chat with her when you've got time. Okay. I gotta say I love her hair. It's a little bit too pink. I wish it was a little bit more purple, but it's cute. And I like the curls. Hey, Oma. Oh, Riley. If you've got a few minutes, I thought I'd tell you about something I'm pretty sure you're gonna like. Oh? <laughs> I thought it would be nice to reward you for some of the work you're doing to improving the town, so I came up with an idea. I'm calling them Mayor Merits, but basically they're rewards you can unlock by doing small jobs around the town. When you plant trees or whatever, you'll make progress towards a merit and a reward. You'll find a new tab on your backpack where all the merits are listed so you can see how close you are to completing one. Some Mayor Merits are pretty great, even if I do say so myself, so keep an eye on that page. Will do. Great. Take a look and see if you're close to completing one of them. Have a lovely day, Riley. So it automatically opens up to the Mayor Merits. Um, later when you go, like you're going to go to your backpack, um, there's a new tab for them. So you can just switch, you can just tab over to it. Welcome to the Mayor Merits page. Hope you can see all the, here you can see all the merits you can unlock and your progress towards each of them. So houseplant, potted bamboo, um, I actually get to keep that. Once you complete a merit, you'll get a notification. Check this page for information on what merit you have unlocked and your reward. So again, we've got a houseplant, a potted bamboo. Sprinting unlock, yay! I'm so excited. Okay, and so there's different tabs. Um, I wish it was a little easier to read them personally, but um, it tells you trees planted, it shows a little tree, and it wants us to plant 12 of them. Um, flowers planted, 25, and then 25 more trees. So, and then you just kind of keep leveling up. As you can see, there's a carrot. There is farming in the game. I am not close to unlocking it yet on my other playthrough, so it does take a while to unlock, but there is farming. Um, butterflies, you can catch butterflies. Um, here's different items um, here, that things that you can unlock. Um, and there is mining in the game. So just like Stardew Valley <laughs> crosses over to Animal Crossing, yeah, it's a lot like that. But if you look up at the top now, you can see that's the merits. Um, there's your crafting. Speak to Sally about a bridge is your task. And there's your backpack. So let's get out of that and let's go talk to Sally. I love the pixel art, um, the graphics and the details. It's just really pretty, I think. 
So hopefully we'll get a shovel so we'll be able to clear out some other stuff. But right now we're going to make a bridge. Hi, Sally. Hi, Riley. Welcome back. I'll bet Moss loved those items you built for him. What are we building today? A bridge. A bridge? Whoa. <laughs> That's definitely not what I was expecting. A bridge, huh? Hmm. Well, for starters, we're going to need a bunch of wooden planks. Reckon you could help me out with that? Sure. Great, so we've unlocked wooden planks. Here's the crafting recipe for wooden planks. About 10 should do it, I think. While you're sorting that out, I'll get to work on a design. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna need wooden logs, because well, we've used them all. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna chop some more trees. <clears throat> And the nice thing is with the controller, I can just um, go d hit my down button and put it away or um, take it back out. Once you get more tools, then you can hit your up button and um, it shows more of your tool display, but not all of them. It depends on where they're, uh, where they're at in your backpack. Or you can get them out by going into your backpack and um, clicking on them. So there's various ways. But you see how it just um, puts the wood directly, just by walking over them, it just puts the wood directly into your backpack. You don't have to pick them up. It does it for you just by walking over them. So I can go to my backpack and I can see I have 18 wood. Well, she said we're going to need 10 pla planks. And for a plank, it takes two wood. So... Um, we're gonna need just a little bit more wood, I think. Just a little bit more, not much. Because I think we, we need at least 20 of them. So we'll just do that. And then we'll go back to Sally's to the workshop and you'll be spending a lot of time in there. So we have 24 and we need 10 of them. So that's perfect. I will say the cut cutaway time is not very much, which I really like. Um, every time you go into a building. Now you can go click to the left on a controller and you can build the max, which is 12, which is cool. Or you can go and just count them off because we know we need 10 and craft them that way. And they craft that fast. So, how's it going teammate? Looks like you got all the wood we need. Super! I threw together a quick design for bridge that I think will work. Do you want to have a go making it? A bit of a big project for your first build, but I know you're up to the task. Um, sure. Awesome! See the design table just there with the drawings and paper on it? That's where you can turn designs into real objects. Interact with it to get started. Will do. The design table is where you turn designs into real objects. Interact with it to continue. Okay, I did not mean to do that. We want to build the design Sally gave to us. She'll find a list of designs in existing designs. So you just click on that. And there's the bridge. It's the only thing in there so far. I don't know why it puts it in there twice, but whatever. Select the bridge design to show the information about it. This screen shows you information on the selected design. Choose build to turn the design into a real object. So I'm going to click on build. And we just made a bridge. Whoa! I told you you could do it. That bridge is gonna do a gonna do a great job of getting us over that pesky river, I'm sure. Now all that's left is to find a good place for it. I'll leave that in your capable hands, teammate. Count on me. Okay, so we're gonna go. <laughs> My dog wants out of the room. Just like the furniture and other items, you can place bigger items like the bridge by selecting it in your backpack. So we're just gonna go over to the bridge. Now it puts it automatically in placement mode. So I was kind of thinking, do we want it over here? Or do we want it closer to our house over here? Looks like there's two sections. So again, you can rotate it by clicking on the button it tells you to. I mean, and it's just pretty free range on where you can place it. Um, it's not as picky as like Animal Crossing. I just like to make sure there's a lot of, uh, about the same amount of space on both sides. So I'm going to put it there. 
Well, well, what a magnificent bridge. Well done, Riley and Sally. You've truly outdone yourselves. My teammate, Riley, did all the work, really. I just gave them the design. Oh, our little town is growing up. It brings a tear to my eyes seeing the lovely things you've been doing for us, Riley. You know, I'm sure there are other folks out there that would love to come live with us here. In fact, I'm certain one or two visitors at my inn mentioned they'd be interested in moving. Hmm, sadly, we don't have any houses for them to move into, though. Uh, but we do. With a little bit of work, Riley could put together enough resources to renovate one house. I'm sure if we asked nicely, they'd help us with the other one. Of course. See, I told you, Moss. Ha <laughs> ha. Seriously, though, that would be wonderful of you, my dear. Here's another donation box. Do what you did last time and interact with the house to place it outside. Then we can fill the donation box with resources, and in no time, we'll have a delightful new home for a new villager to move into. How exciting! I'll fix it! Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So let's just go look over on this side. Um, this is not a huge amount of land, but now we can make bridges anytime we want. It's just getting the resources. So we can put a bridge here to connect the, that side, and I'm thinking we'll put another bridge over here somewhere. Like maybe right here to go over to the other side. So we'll have a, a way to go both ways. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. I love this layout so much and I love the villagers. So we will see you next time and I will try to get some more recordings out on this um, pretty quickly. Maybe even later today, uh, possibly tomorrow. So um, do me a favor. When you get a second and you're so inclined, please like the video. Um, subscribe to my channel and pass the word um, to your other game loving friends. Um, I would love, love, love to get this channel up and going a little bit more. And um, if we get enough subscribers, as soon as, well, I should say, as soon as we get enough subscribers, I'll start doing some live streams and then we can really get to know each other and chat and have fun. Uh, also, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the recording, um, about the game Hoko Life. Have you played it? Um, are you going to play it? Um, what, do you, what are your thoughts? Anyway, we'll see you all soon in the next episode and um, y'all stay safe. See you later.